Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 15 really useful shortcuts that I believe every iPhone user must have on their device in 2024. Now for this video, I've selected some shortcuts that are actually very useful yet are very simple to use because there are a lot of shortcuts that are useful but will be complicated for most users. So we have some really simple ones that you probably will use on daily basis on your iPhone. And we're starting things off with Clipster. Now Clipster allows you to manage the clipboard of your iPhone. So whenever you have copied something on your clipboard you can just run the shortcut and this allows you to show your current clipboard so it shows you whatever you have copied on your clipboard and it also allows you to save that you can save up to five things that you have copied on your clipboard right here just go here choose the slot from one to five just know that if you have saved something in number one then you save something else it will delete that and it will override it and then right here we'll have also some other options you can edit your saved clipboards you can show all of your saved clipboards and load any of the saved clipboards that you want. Flashlight timer is the next one for the video. Now this allows you to turn on the flashlight on your device, but with a timer. So if I just tap right here, I can go ahead and choose here any of these minutes, or I can type it right here to any exact number of minutes I want. And if I just tap here, it will turn on the flashlight of my device and it will stay on for five minutes. So basically a timer for your flashlight. Remove background is the next one for the video. It allows you to remove background from your photos. Not just that, it also allows you to replace that background with something else. So run the shortcut and load the picture. So once you have loaded the picture that you want, it will also show you the photos library to load the new background for that picture. And you can see right here. Of course, we have here the subject, which we can move around on the photo. We can reset it, we can rotate it, and also choose a right here the transparency of the main subject of the photo. Once you're done, you tap right there. Here you have the photo, you can mark it up, of course, and you can also save it under your camera roll simply by tapping here, and you're good to go. Now you have changed the background of your photos with a simple shortcut. Next up is QR code generator. This is a very useful one. It allows you to generate QR codes for images, URLs, your Wi-Fi, or any simple text that you want. Just simply add anything of these options right here. You can generate a QR code as easy as that. So if I just go ahead and add something here, just a simple text, it will generate me a QR code, which of course I can save then under the camera roll of my device and use it to share anything I want. Images, text, URLs, or my Wi-Fi. Translate screenshot is the next one for the video. Any screenshot that you take with your device, all you have to do is run the shortcut and load that screenshot. Now, once you have done that, it will translate the screenshot for you. And you can see right here the text. Now I had this in German, so you can see right here, it says detected language German, and it will of course translate it to English as easy as that. So for any screenshots that you have taken of any text, you can now go ahead and simply translate it as easy as that. And you can also choose here to which language you want to actually translate. So you tap the three dots, you will have here detected language to English. You tap right there and you can choose any of these languages. Dictate to notes is the next one for the video. It allows you to quickly dictate to your notes. So you tap here and you can just speak anything you want. And of course it will save that as a note on your device. So as easy as that, just dictate any text you want and it will take a note for you. The next one for the video is called shorten URL. Now you can use this from the share sheet on Safari. So whenever you're on a website, you wanna copy the link of that website, maybe to share it or send it to someone. You don't have to send a full like length link, which is sometimes really long, but you can just tap the share sheet right here and you will have right there the shortcut. So here it is, shorten URL, just like that. Tap on always allow here and it will actually shorten that URL for you. It will also copy it to your clipboard. So once you're done with that, now you have the shorten URL, copy it to your clipboard and you can just of course use it to share it anywhere you want. You can see the shorten URL here, it's much, much shorter than the normal URL that you will get on different websites. Clear out photos is the next one for the video. It allows you to quickly delete photos that you don't want to have no longer on your photo library. So just run the shortcut here. And once you have done that, it will take you to your photos library. You can simply pick 
any photo you want and then you can tap on the add button once you have done that it will show you the images here so it, it shows basically a preview of all the images that you have selected before you delete them so you can take a look at the images first see if you have selected any image you don't want to delete you will have all of them here and then tap the done button and you're good to go charge time is another one that i really like it is a simple one yet it's super useful it shows you how much time your device will need to fully charge so it doesn't matter at which percentage of battery your device is whether it's charging or not you can just run the shortcut and right here it will show you that your device will actually need one hour and 17 minutes in this case in my case here with 58 percent battery to charge to 100 percent so whenever you need to have your iphone fully charged you can know how long it will take email myself is the next one for the video now this one is super useful you know that sometimes when we want to save something we actually send it to our email well with this shortcut you can do that automatically so all you have to do is add the shortcut once you add it it will ask you for your email and once you have entered that email you no longer need to enter it all you have to do when you're on a website or anywhere you simply tap the share button here and from the share sheet you will have here email myself you tap right there and then all you have to do is just select the email if you have multiple emails select from which one you want to send it just like that in a couple of seconds you have emailed something to yourself the next one for the video is called phone menu anytime you need to fully charge or fast charge your iphone you can do a lot of things that will actually help your iphone charge faster and with this shortcut everything can be done automatically so you just run the shortcut and you will have a few different options here so we have enter charging boost mode which basically reduces the amount of power that your iphone uses that way it allows your iphone to charge faster and what's really cool is that it also has an exit charging boost mode which means that it will turn on back everything that it has turned off then you will have here enter super low power mode saver which is basically something better than low power mode it will save a lot more battery on your device so again you also have the exit button right here which is really really cool and with any one of these you also have the ability here to calculate how long it will take for your iphone to fully charge network tool is the next one for the video you run the shortcut and you will have here a few different options a few different things that you can actually do with this shortcut so you can show all the information regarding the wi-fi you're currently connected like the ip address and everything else you can do a speed test of your wi-fi network a ping test also you will have advanced information lookup and then you will have your physical ip location which will be shown on the map and you also have a share wi-fi via qr code so at any time when you're connected to a certain wi-fi network you will be able to generate a qr code which then allows to share that network with someone else next up we have a shortcut called search on now with search on once you run it you will be able to search on different platforms so you enter here any text you want to search and once you have done that you tap the dumb button and here you have all the different options you can google you can search on twitter on youtube reddit of course instagram ebay some of the most popular platforms most useful ones you can do a search directly from here the next one for the video is called set volume now this one allows to set the volume at any percentage you want quickly so all you have to do is tap on the three dots right here and choose the percentage of volume so i have set it at 30 percent of course i can change it right here so at any time i want to set the volume to that certain percentage that i have chosen all i have to do is just run the shortcut and you can see automatically it does set the volume and last but not least is turn text into audio it allows to turn any text you want into an audio file so you tap the shortcut right here you can enter the text here you can paste any text that you might have copied to your clipboard and then tap the dumb button and just like that it will convert it into an audio file of course you can play it or you can tap right here and save it into your files app so that is it for this video guys these are 15 shortcuts that i believe are super useful and iphone users must try them out on their device if you want to download any of these you will find all the links in the pinned comment thank you guys for watching the video and i'll see you on the next one